everybody, welcome to Into Health. I hope everything everybody's okay. I wanted to show you um, the right posture for sitting in a chair, either if you're sitting at home or if you're sitting at a desk. I'm using one of the most common chairs that you can find. Uh, I'm about five foot 11. So when I'm sitting in the chairs, most of the time my knees are quite up, okay? So this will be a very good exercise to show you um, because if you're tall, most of the time the chairs are not properly designed for you, okay? So the aim of sitting on the desk is that eventually you want to have your core muscles engaged so you're not relying on the back rest your base because I'll show you what tends to happen when you're working on the computer so you're here and you're basically looking forward looking towards the computer so you can see that my head now is not in line with the rest of the back is basically falling forward the head is about a stoning weight so it takes a lot of effort for all the muscles in the upper back to uh, keep it upright also when your arms are forward for long periods of time then the rotator cuffs and also the rhomboids are overworked all the time hence that's why you start to get a lot of uh, back pain a lot of upper back pain and stiffness so what you want to do you want to basically bring the knees so that they are lower to the hips okay so the knees should be lower than the hips this tilts your pelvis in the right position already. So if I'm here, basically I'm slouching back. If I'm bringing the knees down, already my pelvis is pushing forward, okay? So if you don't have an, a way of adjusting your chair, just stop your, your, bring your feet underneath the chair, okay? And then what you want to do, you want to work so that you're basically bringing the chest bone forward. So don't worry about the shoulders. And you should feel that the core muscles are engaged at this point, okay? So you can see now that I'm without doing anything. So I've just put the knees down lower than the hips and I've pushed the chest forward. My neck is in line with the rest of the back. I feel my core muscles engaged. So. It's quite difficult at the beginning and you're going to catch yourself quite a, a few times slouching back because you're not used to keeping your body upright. But eventually this is the position you want to do every time you're sitting down, even at the office. The longer you've got this posture, the less likely you are to get any injuries and to get too much stiffness into the arms and the shoulders. Now, the other thing is once you are in this position, you need to be quite close to the desk. So everything is about this range. So all the essential movements and the regular movements that you do have to be around this range. So your elbows are nearby your body. You're resting the forearms onto the desk and then you're working on the desktop like this. So you can imagine that everything has to be at about forearm distance to your body, okay? So the screen is gonna be somewhere here and you're basically resting the forearms down so you're not overworking or overloading the rotator cuff and the rhomboids. Ideally, every 20 or 30 minutes, because what tends to happen if you're keeping the muscles in the same position for long periods of time, especially the small muscles, they start creating lactic acid and that's what causes the stiffness and the pain into the muscles. So every 20 or 30 minutes, you can drop the arms to your sides big circles so you're bringing your shoulders towards the ears and then you drop them back shoulders towards the ear and drop them back roll them forward a couple of times and then look down towards the floor look up towards the ceiling look straight ahead look towards your left towards your right look straight ahead try to bring the ear towards the shoulder without lifting the shoulder and the other side and then if you want, you can grab hold of the back of the chair and sort of twist to one side and then grab hold of the opposite side and twist to one side. So as you can see, this takes less than 30 seconds and then you carry on. So it's allowed the muscles to just move a little bit and you're less likely to build up this active acid that then eventually is going to cause quite a lot of stiffness and pain in the back. Okay don't beat yourself if you're finding yourself um, slouching back more uh, a lot at the beginning 
Just the fact that you become more aware of your posture is gonna make is gonna bring you into the right position, okay? So be patient and you'll find that this is gonna help you a lot. Thank you for watching.